everyone, I'm Jess and I am the host of My System. My System, our system. Hey YouTube, my name is Jake and I'm one of the protectors of the system. Hello, my name is Jamie and I am a protector in Jess's system. Hi, I'm Ed from Office TV, a channel dedicated to ending stigma of the RD. Okay, so we are doing Meet the Alters 2 because we've reached too many views on the original one and um, we also got 100,000 subscribers. <laughs> oh my days, it's amazing. I can't get over that. You made this Ollie's dream come true. Now we get a plaque thing. <laughs> Thank to everyone who subscribed in that. Hopefully round two will be just as successful and people will like it just as much. Oh, sorry, I'm Ollie, by the way. I should have said that at the beginning. <laughs> Today we are planning on doing another Meet the Alters using these swanky whiteboards. And it was super popular last time and it was great that like 2 million people really wanted to get to know us. So yeah, that was fun. So it's a game in which we answer questions about one another on who is the most or the least whatever that might be. We may have the same opinion, we may have different opinions, but either way we hope that it's a fun way for you guys to get to know us. To save time, we picked out just 10 questions that our patrons sent to us. Hopefully this video won't end up super long and boring everybody to death. <laughs> Who's the cuddliest? That would be Jake. He's always given the best cuddles. This kind of a trait that I think Jake is known for is being very loving and cuddly. That's Jake. Like, I like a good cuddle too, don't get me wrong, but I think Jake is like he craves cuddles. So now my pen has ran out. After so many attempts of me doing this shitty video, my pen's now ran out, yeah? So like, I can't even write it down. Yeah, like, I picked Jake in my last answer because like, he's proper cuddler, he gives the best cuddles. And Jake, I've always known Jake to be a cuddler, so yeah, my answer's Jake. Who's the cuddliest? Definitely not me. <laughs> I just don't really do cuddles, to be fair. So, I'm gonna be Uncle Jake, always wants hugs. It's gotta be me. I am a super cuddler. My favorite thing in the world is to cuddle and play games or watch movies, like with somebody, whoever, whoever that may be. <laughs> so yeah, I'd say I am the cuddliest, hands down. Next question was, who's the most romantic? And I'd say the most romantic is definitely, oh, the pen's fucked now. Right, it's gone. Well, you have to just pretend I'm holding up some signs or something because haven't got none. It was right, it was who the most romantic was, wasn't it? Right, look, pen and paper, yeah, I'm just gonna do it that way. So I reckon the most romantic is Jamie. He's proper lush in the way that like, he will always put me first. Cause it's not always about like, the big hot air balloon rise, do you know what I mean? It's about them little things as well that says like, I love and appreciate you. Who's the most romantic? Ah, oh, that would be. I can hear the Italian music playing now. I'm, I'm a good old believer in romance and I think it's it's a way to somebody's heart and um, to keep the spark alive in any relationship or a date or whatever it might be. The key is to sweep someone off their feet and make them feel all magical. But again, are we saying... No, we're not saying. I was going to say, if we're saying who's the most like... If it was like who likes sort of to be swept off their feet and stuff, it would probably be Jess. I know she's really into that sort of, she likes her rom-coms. Oh, no, that's hard. Because like I see a lot of what goes on like Inner World and I think that both Jake and Jamie are both very romantic. I don't know, do I have to choose one or can I choose two? Because we don't have the little sticks anymore. So I'm gonna write Jamie and Jake. Oh, ah, uh, I figure Jess might be because she's like, hopeless romantic. She loves, you know, like the long walks on the beach and receiving flowers, chocolates, and um, I think like when she was growing up, like her Mr. Right was always that romantic kind of guy. So I'm gonna say Jess. I don't know. Don't really pay attention to that. So that's an odd question for me as well. I think Jess is the most hopeless romantic. So I might go with her. That's a crap E by the way. Who's the most feminine? <laughs> Who's the most feminine? Who's the most feminine? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Who's the most feminine? 
<laughs> I love whoever submitted that question. Well, I wonder who everyone else is gonna fucking say. <sighs> um, I'm gonna pick Jess, and it better be Jess, yeah? Because like, it's not fair on me then, is it? Because she's a girl and I'm not a girl. I reckon everybody's gonna be a cheeky lad and put me down. I'm gonna say me because I think I would be frightened if Ed's a reaction or anything else. I still think me because I'm, I think I, I would consider myself very girly and I would just like to think that I am more feminine than a bloke in my system. So please, me, guys, I hope you pick the same. Um, that's gonna be my dad, Ed. Because he's just feminine. Oh, I don't know how else to describe him other than that. Like, I think that's part of his personality. I don't know what's more offensive, using the word flamboyant or feminine. <laughs> <laughs> I like whoever asked that question. You're very brave. So that would be Ed. Oh, this one's gonna sting a little. Sorry, Ed, but um, yeah, it's not a bad thing. He's just super feminine. He's super feminine. That's not a bad way to be. That's cool. He totally owns it. He totally owns his femininity, so yeah. Who's the most opinionated? Oh man, that would be me. Me. Right here. Hey. Who's the most opinionated? Oh, that's Ollie. Just no explanation needed on that one. Who's the most opinionated? Ollie, hands down. He's always like been outspoken though, since he was like super tiny. So definitely Ollie. Um, who's the most opinionated? Uh, Ollie. We've raised him well. Maybe a little too well to speak his mind. But then again, I think it's very important that kids say what's on their mind. So that's gonna be my Ollie Molly. I'm so proud I've raised a kid with such an open mind. Ollie is always honest and upfront, and I think he gets that from me when I was younger. But the difference is, it's like. When I grew up, I realised it's not always the best thing to speak your mind. It might be better to just shut up. So he's not learnt that bit yet. <laughs> so I'm going to pick Ollie, and um, so I'm very proud. Who's the biggest nerd? I think, despite my general love of science, I believe the biggest nerd would be Jake. I, I should write that down, shouldn't I? It's Jake. Jake, I'm gonna say, is the biggest nerd, and I think it's because that Ollie looks up to Jake so much, and I think he's a nerd, and um, they both play video games, and I think the difference is Ollie's proper good in school, which I guess makes Ollie a bit more of a nerd, but I don't know. I mean, like, how would you describe a nerd anyway? So I'm gonna say the biggest nerd is Jake because Ollie looks up to him as well and plays the same games, so Jake started it essentially. I'm gonna say me for that one. I still love games and stuff. Like, not as much as I used to when I was younger. I think I had more time for them back then. But yeah, like, Kingdom Hearts and Pokemon were, like, my jam back when I was younger. And um, it's great that they're still going. I just kind of feel like I have no time for them anymore. Aw, see, I would say Jake. I think he's, like, a surprisingly nerdy guy. Like, you'd see pictures of what he looks like and think, oh my gosh, you know, that must be, like, the coolest guy and actually he's just a total nerd. <laughs> total nerd. And I love Jake to pieces, so Jake. I'm gonna say I'm my Uncle Jake because I get it from him, I think. I think I'm like close to being nerdy, but like he's just a real dog. So I'm gonna put him. Who's most likely to lie? Ah. Okay. But there was like a reason for this, right? Okay, so I really don't like confrontation and I don't like hurting people's feelings. I find like it's kind of an unfair question because like the other part of the family, like Ed, Ollie and Jamie are really like honest. I couldn't do that. I, I'm just not the person that could deliver maybe like a bad message or say something bad to somebody. Maybe it's wrong, but I'd rather tell like a white lie to get out of it than I would to say it and risk upsetting somebody. And then Jess, she's got a good way, she'll say stuff if she has to, and she's got a good way of like delivering it that won't necessarily upset somebody. I guess that's kind of the therapist within her. Oh, I don't know. This is between me and Jake. I can't think. I, oh, I feel awful. I'm gonna say Jake. Well, I know for a fact that to not offend anyone, he would rather kind of talk about something else or so I don't know, I'm guessing that's considered lying. I'm gonna go for Jake for avoiding the truth. I don't wanna call Jake a liar, that's not a nice thing to say. 
I don't think we have any liars in this system. I will say, however, I'm gonna stick with my last answer. I think Jake would be the most likely to lie only because he doesn't want to offend people. I don't think that's necessarily like a bad thing, but that's not what I would personally do. Ooh, who is the biggest liar? That's interesting. See, Ed never lies. He's like the opposite. So it definitely would be Ed. I guess because, not only because he's my annoying brother, but because he's an actor. Jake. Because technically that's lying? I don't really think any of us are liars. That's like a, ooh, explosive question, I guess. I'd say I'm not bothered about if I lied or not, but I've got no reason to lie. I don't know, would it be me? I'm gonna take the blame here because I don't wanna call anyone else out because I don't think anyone is. Who's most misunderstood? Cue the world's tiniest violin. Again, that's interesting. I don't think that's particularly straightforward because what, what, what's kind of the definition of misunderstood here? What are we looking at? I guess it is, Ed, because people are like, oh, you know, I can't believe, you know, you're with him or, but he's not, he's not, scary like he likes you to think he is and I, I never I never fell for that and I think a lot of people are quick to fall for that because he's got this very sort of fierce demeanor because there is definitely a lovely lovely sweet little cuddly inside I know where this is heading with everyone no I, I hope it's not me that everyone's picked because I don't feel that way at all I actually feel the most misunderstood again I'm gonna pick Jakey Jake because he's got this happy facade um, he can qu crash quite hard, so I think in terms of his mood, so I think Jake is is not as what you see is what you get. Um, I'm figuring Ed, like when you see him, he's like really scary at first, like a lot of people get kind of intimidated by him. He's like the onion in Shrek, he's like that analogy, like he's a lot different than maybe his first impressions would give you. But again, what does that really mean? I'm guessing again it's not my dad because yeah, people have this real perception of him that he's a really scary person and he's not. When people look at him and get, get a first impression and they ultimately decide if they're going to continue to get to know him or stay away from him, that automatically helps him make up his mind about whether or not that person is worth his time. Because if they judge him for getting to know him, then that's their own problem. Yeah, I'm guessing it's my dad. Can I have a pity party and see me? I think a lot of people have this idea of me and like who I am and I'm just a bit of an oddball. And I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. I kind of, I've learned to embrace it. I mean, back at school, I was kind of bullied for it in my early years, but I kind of, I, I embrace it now and I'm just like, yeah, whatever kind of thing. Who's the biggest sweet tooth? Didn't I just eat a candy like a minute ago? <laughs> Yeah, I, I, do I even have to write that? Like, that's me again. Although Ollie really likes ice cream, so does that count? That would be me. I love sweets. I'll share like my sweets in that with Gaz. Or Gaz will share his sweets with me, so yeah. Ollie because he loves cookies. Although I've got to be fair, like my chocolate habits are a bad habit, so. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say Ollie, because he's the only one of us that likes white chocolate, and I think that's a very sweet tooth thing to like. If you can get Ollie to stop snacking on sweets, that would be wonderful. There's no good for his teeth. So um, I'm going to say Ollie. Who's the most protective? Um, I'm guessing my Uncle Jake because he's the most like fight or flight kind of person. Yeah, I think if we were in a really tight spot, he'd be the first person to fight or flight. So I'm guessing that makes him the most protective. Ooh. Um, I don't know, that's a hard question. Like, cause in a way I'd say like all of us, because we all have like our different roles within that. I'm gonna have to just say everybody. I, I just don't think that there is one of us that doesn't protect the system in some way. So kind of a trick question. I feel that's like a trick question because I think we're all protecting our own way. I mean, what kind of protection are you looking at? Are you looking at sort of more emotional, verbal kind of protection or are you looking at physical stuff or more intimate side like what kind of protection are we looking at here i would say personally me because i am i am sort of overseeing the system so i kind of have a hand in all of the kinds of protection and the way it's done so me 
This guy. I personally think that Jake's the most protective. Of me, at least. I, that's the way I feel. I think that he would do absolutely anything for me. I guess I just feel more of a direct influence from Jake than I do the rest of the boys. I think that's a bit of a trick question, really, because in a way, we're all protective of this system. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been made. But I think if I was to choose anyone, obviously I'd say Jamie, because Jamie is like the overseer of this system in a way, and he makes sure that everything's ticking over, right? I think because he's kind of the overall protector from the system, my answer would be Jamie. Who's the most likely to solve a mystery? Ooh. I would like to think it's me, but I know that Ed is more perceptive than any of us. And I think you need to be perceptive as well as analytical to solve a mystery. I think I'm quite an analytical person, but Ed's got like the both traits, so he's both analytical and perceptive, and I'm not necessarily perceptive. So yeah, I think he is much more perceptive than I am, and therefore he would solve a mystery better than I would. I'd like to think that would be me. Um, I like my dramas about like crimes, and I like all my true crime stuff, and I'm quite interested in like criminology and that. And like, in a world when I was younger, I wanted to be like a detective, but I'm definitely not like smart enough. <laughs> And can you imagine me arresting you? You'd look at me and you'd be like, serious babes. <laughs> I've always done my best to keep us safe as well. So I think that it would be me as the most likely to solve a mystery. No second thought on this question. I think it would be my dad. Hello, Iris. I was in the middle of answering my questions, but okay. Okay, so I think it would be my dad um, because he's like super perceptive and he's taught me what to look out for with things over the years. I'd say him without a doubt. Don't even have to think about it. It would be my darling Ed, because there's nothing that gets past him. I'm gonna go for him. I don't know. I mean, definitely not me, because I've always been like the worst person at losing things, so I definitely wouldn't be able to figure out where something's gone or disappeared to. I'm gonna say just because like yeah like with a lot of her studies and her practice in like psychology psychotherapy i think she's pretty good at figuring stuff out like her i'm just gonna go with jess and stick with that i'm gonna stick with jess and that's that's it that's all the questions oh that actually really flew by <laughs> okay that's done great so i'd like to say thank you very much for watching you've been a pleasure thanks so much everyone and um yeah thanks for watching everyone and we hope you enjoyed it. Bye! Thank you everyone for watching. Bye! Ah! I think the oldest too! Ah! <laughs> I think I've got some of Jake's excitement there. Oh my gosh!